Welcome back to another Unchained video. Today we joined a first person only full vanilla server and going to do a very nice Rex Ridges that will lead into raiding. I hope you guys will enjoy this video. If you guys want more Unchained content, make sure to drop a like. Let's try to reach 100 likes. Also, 71% of you guys watching this video right now aren't yet subscribed, so I would really appreciate it if you hit that button. And let's get straight into the action. Alright, first time joining on a brand new vanilla server. Wait, this is first person only. Yeah, it's first person only. There is some people on the server. There's a couple of duos. I'm gonna suicide because this is a very bad spawn. Like, um, next to Stratford. That's pretty good. There's already... There's a base right over there. I think it's live. There's a guy in there, yeah. Already found a live base. That's good. I'm gonna loot Stratford. I'm gonna try to get a Cobra or something, maybe. Try to go kill this guy. And get ourselves a very nice Rex which is going on. There's a guy over there. He's already pulling out a gun on me, man. Oh, he's trying to kill me with a katana. Come on, dude. I'm not scared of you. Of course. And that's that guy. He's a solo. Obviously, we're gonna find uh, people that will spawn kill you when you only had the grocer top. But don't worry, bro. I know exactly where you are. I spawned right here. A sport shot. Perfect. Some local ammo. I mean, he had, he only had a cobra, so it shouldn't really be that hard, to be honest. Okay, well, the problem with first person is that I really need a scope to do anything. Because the iron sights on most guns really confuse me. Oh, he's in here. I heard them. Yeah, there he is. He's dead, there we go. Alright, at least we did get ourselves the Cobra. And I already have a Cobra box from earlier. So we should try to get ourselves some XP. I'm gonna try to kill four geared people with a Cobra. Because that's gonna be a, a bit hard. I'm probably gonna try to make myself a makeshift scope. I already have the binoculars or I'll need this tape. Right, makeshift scope, done. Perfect. And that's going to go on my sport shot. Oh, there's a guy. Wait, what? Wait, he has a maple strike. Why is he running away from me? Oh, I'm out of ammo. He's dead. <laughs> there we go. He's a maple strike. Oh, he had two maple strikes. Okay, we could strip one and we'll wear full military. Make them into dressings and perfect. Now I'm going to take the makeshift scope out of the sport show. We don't need the sport show anymore. And we got ourselves a maple strike with a makeshift scope. So I put a bed there just in case I do get killed. Now he's on the roof. Oh, I am dead. <laughs> well, uh, it's the duo. Okay. But now we know. Now we know that he's on the roof with a grizzly. So if we do manage to kill him, we'll get ourselves raiding gear already. I'm gonna loot military really quickly and hope for a maple strike. I also lost all of my XP because I, I I died twice. Yo, there's... Okay, I got a detonator and I have literally no gun. Probably gonna get killed with it. They're shooting grizzlies. Oh, we got a maple strike. Perfect. Already found a 16x scope. So maybe we know what I could do. Actually, I could try to take over a tower. And either maple strike. Oh my god. It's a backup maple strike. That's good. Yeah, I'm gonna get as much clots as well to make a bed. We'll place a hatch right over there and we have pretty much taken over this tower. Now I need to make plates to bar up every single window. Bedroll right over there. Now I just need to go chop down a couple of trees. Hopefully I don't get killed while doing that. I'll drop these items here for now. So if I do get killed, they wouldn't really get them. We got ourselves a crate. Now I just need to go try to kill them. Oh, they're right there. I killed one and the other one ran inside. Now that guy has 30 seconds before he could come back, but I maybe I could try to load this guy really quickly. Yeah, these guys are fully geared actually. I killed them. They have sentries in there. Alright, let me med up. Alright, I could maybe try to get the second guy's load, but I don't really want to get killed from the sentry. Take, 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 take. Take that grizzly. Perfect steely. Blowtorch. Oh my god, these guys are geared. Oh, they're back. That's alright though. We could run away. We got ourselves a grizzly. A bunch of guns. Two chainsaws, I'm pretty sure. Blowtorch. Perfect. Perfect start. We're back in our tower now. I can actually take a look at what we've got. We've got ourselves Grizzly, PTW, Elise back. We got a claim flag for some reason. Place that right over there. Okay, we'll drop these here and I need to get myself some more trees. Well, I am dead. Hopefully, the only thing that's important is they don't figure out where my tower base is. Well, they are finding it extremely funny for some reason. We'll be uh, seeing who's gonna be laughing at the end though. He's hiding behind the one-way glass. He's dead. Let me go take his loot really quickly. Probably his teammate knows exactly where I am. And I am dead. Apparently the second hit did not register. Perfect. Oh, this guy was on semi. Come on, dude. Peek me. Let me take this guy's loot. Bait him out. He's hiding in there, right? Wait. Huh? Yeah. Well, he's dead. Oh, the sentry. Wait, hold on. Got a grizzly. Thankfully got ourselves another magazine. Ouch. Okay, we bro broke it. So maybe now we could actually go inside. Let's switch to Maple Strike. 
And he closed it. No problem. I did get myself a bunch of loot. Goodbye. They're probably watching me through one-way glass. I did get myself a bunch of crates, so that's pretty good. Now, whenever I'm going out there, I'm just getting one gun. Oh, he's dead. I don't know if it was the same person as this duo. All right, he has... Okay, Maple Strike, some raw. He has night vision as well. I could wear his clothes because I wasn't running around with clothes. I can already start making C4 if I really want, so I've got literally everything to do with them. I got a blowtorch, I got a Detto. Now I got raw. I got grenades back in the tower. Alright, he's dead as well. These guys haven't gone out of their base in so long. Also, there's a guy on the server that I might make friends with. And I think these guys raided his base as well. Because as soon as he joined, they were asking him like, Yo, how's your base and all of that. Alright, got him. Oh my god, this guy- He has another detonator! Yo, we could make a horde with that then. Alright, let's take everything or back to our tower. I was wondering where the hell they were. They weren't inside their base for so long. Let's get the hell out of here. And we are back inside. Perfect. Now, I did team with the other dude, as I mentioned earlier. Got myself a bunch of items. So, that's pretty good. Got ourselves a bunch of raw. So, now we can actually start making a lot of C4. Now, the problem is I need to get crafting 3. That shouldn't really be a problem because it's just uh, chopping down a couple of trees. Right, I'm farming as much glue as possible and I'm getting crafting 3. Time to put everything in our inventory. Start making as much C4 as possible. Now on this character, I have myself crafting 3 and on the other character I can like run around and stuff because I use two characters to save loot. But we got ourselves 4 charges already, that's pretty good. I can make more probably, I just need to get glow and metal. Mostly metal. Got myself a bunch of charges. Now we're gonna do a horde beacon afterwards, but I've got 7 in total. Should be more than enough to actually raid this base. Okay, so all the owners left the server, I think is their bedtime. And we're gonna raid them. Replace a couple of plates on top of the we're gonna go and completely annihilate it. Now we'll see who's gonna be laughing now. Alright, one charge should hopefully be enough. I'm not sure for a hatch actually how much. We need another one. And we are through. Oh, it's all open. Yeah, the owners literally just left then. Because there are logs on top of on the base. A fire truck with a ton of crates on top of it. Oh, there's actual loads. Oh, scaler. I'll take that. Yeah, there, there's nothing else in here, though. Okay, well, there's a bunch of wardrobes. There's a bed here. Let's raid this bed. There's... All right, bed broken. Let's go. Time to raid these lockers. Hopefully, some good loot. I mean, judging how they were running around with all of that loot, I'm pretty sure they actually have some decent stuff in here. All right, well, none of them actually broke. These should do the trick. This should be more than enough, actually. Oh my god, okay. Matza Mores, a bunch of raw already. There's a matza box as well. Alright, I like this. This is pretty good. A bunch of ammo. There's a Timberwolf magazine, Night Karev. Okay, well, I could use the Matza Mores for this. Timberwolf magazine right over there. Oh, broke. There was a... What is that? Vault door? There's a vault door inside the locker. And two raw explosives. It's another charge right over there. Ah, we pretty much raided everything. Something else that I want to raid that were on top of my tower this whole time are these lockers. I don't know if they have anything in them, but hopefully they do. Oh, they actually do. Okay. All right. There's another detonator and a sticky grenade, a bunch of magazines. Man, this server is full of detonators everywhere we go. I have like two other detonators on my other character. Yeah, some stuff did actually. It looks like magazines. What we're going to do next is the horde beacon. So hopefully we get ourselves a dragon frank from it. Pretty good rack searches today. Alright, hard beacon time. I think he's gonna place it right now. So we're gonna get a ton of XP actually, so that's gonna be very, very helpful. And the hard beacon is done. I already see a dragon fang over there. A dragon fang, uh, some Morris, and then Echo. Alright everybody, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you guys want more content like this, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!